we're going to be finishing up uh, in this last step. And um, I'm going to start by adding a little bit more uh, shadow color around the eye socket with the French Ultramarine and Alizarin Crimson. And um, this is, uh, creates the, the roundness, the contouring of the eye. So we want to make sure that we have that in and it's correct. Um, we're just putting in a pretty good wash and trying to stay away from the areas where we're going to put our lashes in. Um, so uh, we're going to bring it up and around the uh, outside corner of the eye as well as under the lash line, the lower lash line. Um, and then we're going to soften our edges. And while this is drying, we're going to add in, I'm um, going to switch to a number four. And I'm going to add in some Burnt Sienna Opera Rose and a little bit of French Ultramarine. And um, I'm going to go back into the brows and just add a little bit more color. And um, at here again, I'm, I'm using the tip of my brush to kind of draw the, the hairs for the eyebrows in. And um, so now that I've gotten them in, I want to soften both sides of, of the eyebrow so that it appears very soft. Um, here again, you want to understate the eyebrows um, so that they are not um, too harsh. And I want to go back in and add a little bit of the burnt sienna ochre uh, right around the pupil where I see some gold. So uh, we're going to um, move to a little bit of cobalt turquoise light. There's a little bit of blue in the pupil, I'm sorry, in the uh, highlight around the pupil. And uh, so it's not a stark, stark white. So I want to paint in a little bit of the cobalt turquoise light around it. And then we're going to go back to the, uh, the dark around the iris, and we're going to hit that one more time with a, uh, a stronger, stronger blue here. Um, maybe add in a little bit of the alizarin crimson to the uh, French ultramarine. Just really strengthen this up and make this a strong, strong, dark blue um, because her eyes are, are pretty, uh, pretty dark around the, the edges. So I want to get that in so that it, it reads right and gives it that glass-like look. So that's, that's what I'm going for. Um, I think that I can go ahead and strengthen the pupil up a little bit more and then we'll paint the, the vertical lashes. So uh, I've got the pupil in and I'm going to soften that a little bit. And then I'll go back to the, the vertical lashes and get them in. Maybe add a little bit more horizontally as well to strengthen this up. Sometimes it takes more than one application. Now I'm looking for the, the lashes and they, they seem to be going a little bit to the, uh, on the slant. They're not straight up and I'm, I'm trying to follow uh, the photograph uh, because this is the way that her, her eyes appear. Um, so you don't want to do the, the lashes up uh, straight up. It's just not a natural look. So get that in. And then we'll go back to the lower lash line. Now for the lower lashes, I like to use a purple. They're not as thick or as strong as the upper lashes. So um, I like to use a, a lighter mixture of paint for the lower lashes. Here again, I'm, I'm looking at the photograph and I'm following the, um, the photograph to see what her lashes are really doing. So it's best not to make that up. Uh, you want to kind of use your, your photograph as a, a guide. 
that's going to be it for our eye. If you want to see more of my work, you can visit my website at www.SusannahWentonWatercolorsWithanS.com and look for more DVDs with Jerry's Artorama and free art lessons. <music>